Welcome to Season 1 of Airgun Web TV, where we're going to take a look at some of the coolest air guns available on the market today. And not just in the studio either. We're going to take them out into the field and really put them to the test. We're going to test them. We're going to shoot them. And we're going to tell you all about them. So stay tuned right here to Airgun Web TV. It's a great time to be an airgun. Hello and welcome again to Airgun Web TV. My name is Rick Utzler. And I'm Cecil Bates. And we're out here in the Arizona desert outside Kingman. This is your old stomping grounds, right, Cecil? Yeah, I used to hunt rabbit and quail out here when I was in high school. You know, we've been doing a lot of stuff with more expensive guns, the PCPs, and you know, I love shooting them. Oh, so do I. But, you know, this is what I started with. Well, yeah. The, you know, the standard, yeah, standard brake barrel. You know, you got one cock and you're good to go. These things, a lot less money, they're self-contained, and they're very effective on small games, so why not do a little hunting? Heck yeah, well, I think we got a pretty good chance today. So we're out here, we're gonna do a little hunting, stay with us, we'll be right back. For our season finale of Ergon Web TV, we'll be hunting small game in Kingman, Arizona, but we won't be bringing out the expensive PCPs on this trip. We each picked one of our favorite brake barrel air guns from Gamo USA, our pellet pens, and our favorite pellets, and then we hit the desert looking for what we like to call targets of opportunity. It was a great day and a perfect way to wrap things up for our first season. Now watching Airgun Web TV is easy. Just visit www.airgunwebtv.com and click on the episode you'd like to watch. Airgun Web TV, where we're going to test them, we're going to shoot them, and we're going to tell you all about them. It's a great time to be an air gunner. Airgun Web TV is brought to you by... So Cecil, before we go out and just start wandering around, tell me about what you're carrying today. Today I'm carrying the uh, Gamo Pigman 22 caliber. Uh, it's got all of Gamo's newer um, features. It's got the, the new gas ram, it's got the recoil reducing rail, it's got their, uh, their new trigger, adjustable trigger. Um, it's a real nice shooting 22 caliber brake barrel. Right? It, it's very smooth, it's very affordable. You can go out and have a lot of fun. Now I'm using this particular rifle I actually used in the Gamo Scrollmaster Classic earlier in uh, 2015, and this did its job taking out some squirrels. And today we're gonna see how it does on some quail or some, uh, some rabbit. Both of these are 22 cal. That one's got a little more power. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is uh, very easy to cock. That one's a little bit harder to cock. Well, Cecil, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's All right, go let's do go it. do it, man. Aragon Web TV would like to recognize the following sponsors. The new Gamma Whisper Fusion Pro Air Rifle with SAT shoots 1400 feet per second and is super quiet. T-Bone, what are you doing, dude? I'm trying to get some sleep around here. Oh, man, I was just going to see if I could borrow your Whisper Fusion Pro. Man, how many times I got to tell you, nobody touches my gamma.
<laughs> I was sitting there looking at the bush and I saw this what looked like a quail just hanging out under it and sure enough put the scope on it it was right there I have my Gamo G2 Whisper dropped it it wiggled a little bit but it was pretty much done for very very awesome to drop 50 of them while you're trying I to get one hunt. in there I won't hunt with a brake barrel or a springer without one of these pellet pens oh heck no no they're it's a totally different world with the pellet pen we had some times where we had one and I actually was able to get two or three shots off didn't hit them because it was <laughs> running, but yeah. at least you had the chance man if I was exactly. fumbling with pellets or whatever I never would have even had a shot had oh no shot even even with like the little pouches yeah you're still like trying to get one pellet out and not dump all the rest of them on the ground yeah. and everything these things are awesome yeah but this is just boom right there yeah. So uh, got a nice headshot on this little cottontail from about 20 yards away. Um, Gamo Pigman did a good clean job. Um, one shot and he's down and he'll be in the stew pot. Nice job, man. You got a rabbit? Sweet. That's just yeah. really I was about, I don't know, 40, 50 yards away. I saw you stage up to take the shot and I heard thwack that very distinct lead hitting flesh sound oh definitely yeah. this the pig man did it that's just for sure dropped it like that it was awesome oh heck yeah good shoot thanks man arrogant web tv would like to recognize the following sponsors <music> introducing the pelipen system perhaps the most versatile tool in an air gunner's arsenal Get the most out of your pellet pen with our great accessories like the adjustable pellet set tool end cap, clip on retractor and lanyard system. Pellet pen accessories are compatible across all Mark II pellet pens, including Air Venturi models. The pellet pen system is simply the fastest and easiest way to load your air gun. Pellet pen, load fast, shoot straight, have fun, and be safe. Currently available in 177 and 22 calibers. Visit pelletpen.com to order. So you guys have probably watching us out there as we're walking around taking shots. And you see these things hanging around our necks, right? Yeah, got one right here. This is called the pellet pen. And I've done hunting with it and I've done hunting without it. And if I could ever help it, I never ever want to go hunting with a brake barrel ever again without one of these with me. Cecil, what do you think of these things? These things are a lifesaver and it, it saves so much time and frustration when you're out shooting. Um, yeah, I, I really like having these around my neck. So if you're hunting with a brake barrel, it's one shot at a time. And you either got to fumble around your pocket, open up a tin of pellets, grab something else. Yeah, there's some other options with pouches you're, you're and sticking stuff. your rifle between your knees and hold, trying to hold it. And it's no just, fun. No. This thing right here really takes the frustration out of that. I just hold my gun here for a moment. All right. So I want to show you how, you, I'll show you guys how this thing works. So this is the whole system. This is the whole shebang here, but you can get it just like that. I got one right here in my shirt pocket. So I keep this one loaded with one type of pellet and then I have this one loaded with my primary pellet. So what I could do here, this opens up like this. Before I go out in the field, I just take my pellets, holds about, about 20 or so with a 177, holds 15, 16, depending on the pellet with 22, maybe 17 pellets. Just drop these right in. Bring it right up to the line here. All right, close enough. All right, that's your, your little advancer tool right there. And close these up, put them away. Now this top piece is called the pellet seat tool and what this is important for is some rifles have a very sharp edge on the breech and when you put the pellet in, sometimes they don't fit all the way in. On these particular rifles, these gamblers are beveled really nicely so they fit really well. 
but you still sometimes need to seat it. And what this does, besides hold your pellet pen to your little tool here, is when you cock the rifle and drop the pellet in, see how it sticks out a little bit right there? You take that pell set tool and it seats it exactly the right depth every single time, and that's adjustable. So it allows you to make sure that you always have your pellet right where you need it. I'll go ahead and send this one downrange here. Just that simple. The cool thing is when you're in the middle of hunting, as we were today, when you need to take a bunch of shots in a hurry, it's easy enough to drive another pellet in there. Go ahead and get your next shot off. And that's a whole lot easier than fumbling through your pocket. Yeah. Just like that. Now it comes in 177 and it comes in 22. Hopefully they're gonna come out in 25, I've heard rumors. Again, a cool thing about it, pop that off. If you carry a couple extra tubes with you, and you're all set to go. Just put, put your extras right in your pocket. See, so you got anything you want to say about the pellet pen? No, it's it's a it's a great product, and uh, I mean you can use it with your uh, PCPs also if you're going to be doing that. Um, it's a great way to load magazines and stuff without bending up skirts. It's a good point. Um, it's a multi-use tool, and it's it's something that's been needed, and uh, they finally got it out there for us to to help us out and make it a lot more convenient. Yeah, I use it all the time and bringing up the PCP is a good point because some of those rotary mags, rather than using your thumbnail, exactly. you can put them in with this so you don't deform the pellet. So just a great tool if you like going out and doing some hunting, look up the pellet pen. These things are awesome. Airgun Web TV is brought to you by Introducing the new Hotson Gladius with a fully adjustable tactical bullpup stock, six-way adjustable power, high shot capacity, and consistent accuracy, the Gladius needs to be your next air gun. The Gladius comes in a short and long version, each available in 177, 22, and 25 calibers. Hotson USA has created an amazing new air gun platform that's affordable, powerful, quiet, and accurate. Hotson USA, serious solid impact. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode of Airgun Web TV. Man, Cecil, did you have a good time? I had a great time. You know, it's not always about how much game you put in the bucket, fortunately. Yeah. It is about getting out and having a good time. It's just a beautiful day out with, out with friends. We have some family with us out here, too. Just having a great time. And these air guns really give you the option to get out and do that and just have a, just have a really good time with it. Yeah, and it's affordable. Yeah, that's, that's the big thing. It is very affordable. Thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, uh, this season of Airgun Web TV, and I am stoked about putting together a whole new season for 2016. Oh yeah, we've got a lot that we're looking to put into a 2016 season. We got a lot of really cool stuff coming up. My name is Rick Utzler with Airgun Web TV. And I'm Cecil Bayes, Airgun Scout. Thanks for watching. All of us here at Airgun Web TV would like to thank you for joining us for our first season. Please follow us on social media to learn about our plans for 2016 as we hope to be back very soon to review new air guns, new air gun accessories, and maybe even bring in some new characters as well. So remember, Air Gun Web TV, where we're going to test them, we're going to shoot them, and we're going to tell you all about them. It's a great time to be an air gunner.